Question number eight, Barbara Kerrigan. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Health and asks, can he confirm that the number of patients benefiting from elective surgery has increased by 5,030 in the last financial year and that 49,234 more patients are having surgery now compared to 2007 and 8. The Honourable Dr Jonathan Mr. Coleman. Mr Speaker, yes I can. When National was elected in 2008, increasing the number of elective surgeries every year was a top government priority. These new figures show that a record 167,188 New Zealanders received elective surgery in 2014-15, a remarkable increase of 42% on 2007-2008. Wow. Mr Speaker. Supplementary question, Barbara Kerriger. To the Minister, what is the spread of these increased numbers across the types of elective surgery? And what is his expectation for the future? Mr Speaker. Uh, the uh, Honourable Dr Jonathan Coleman. Mr Speaker, this continued growth in elective surgeries, over 5,000 in the last year, has been spread across the specialties. That includes more than 690 orthopaedic operations, 1,300 general surgeries and 150 more cardiothoracic surgeries. It is my expectation that DHBs will continue to deliver increases averaging 4,000 more surgeries a year over the next three years, which is why the government has invested an extra $92 million into elective surgery in the last budget. This government is committed to protecting and growing public health services, and the extra 50,000 surgeries over the last seven years is evidence of that commitment. Ah, supplementary question, the Honourable Annette King. What impact will 11 of the 20 DHBs now predicting deficits have on their ability to provide services in a timely manner? Uh, the Honourable Dr Jonathan Coleman. Mr Speaker, the member doesn't need to worry about that because we have reduced those deficits from 150 million under the last government to around 50 million and dropping over the longer term under this government. So in actual fact, there's nothing to worry about. It won't be like uh, when Mrs King was Minister, when the budget doubled, but there were 2,000 fewer order, surgeries. Order, order, order. Point of order, the Honourable Mr King. Speaker, my question was a straight question. It had no political inference in it. He's now talking. I ask what order. was the impact of deficits? Order, and the mem Minister was... Exp order, order. No, the question was answered in order and uh, was describing what impacts, which in the Minister's mind were relatively minimal. Question number 10, the Honourable David Parker. 